This is Chunky Boys, a duo Iron Man chunk-locked PVM adventure with a twist. In each episode, we start in a random chunk and then the clock counts down. When the time runs out, we flip a coin to see if we keep or lose our newfound chunks. With this much pressure, what you do with your time matters because you'll never know when you'll be in the same place again. What do you do with your limited time? Where will you end up next? How can you overcome the odds and tackle the challenges ahead when nothing is predictable and nothing is certain? One thing's for sure though, we're a couple of chunky boys. What the heck episode are we on? I think it's episode 10. 10, wow. big 10 -0. Holy cow, we've hit double digit numbers. Hello everyone, welcome to episode freaking 10 of Chunky Boys. As always, I'm Snaplock at AKA Admiral Chunk Bar and I'm here with my wonderful colleague, Zach, AKA Humpty Chunky. How are you feeling today, Zach? Feeling good. I'm ready for the episode. I'm quite excited about this episode. Um, it's one of those where not every chunk we unlock is super useful, but the few chunks that are useful are like, ooh, mm, 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 mm. they're good ones. Um, real quick, let's talk about what we did in the last episode. We were on the continent of Zaya again. We rolled the Forsaken Tower chunk and we unlocked uh, these chunks over here. We lost them at the end of the episode, which is why they're they're redded out. Uh, it's only the second time we've hit tails, dude. But we did lose them. We didn't get, end up keeping these, but we did get some good upgrades from them. Uh, we bought rune spears from the shop. Uh, we killed lizard men almost the entire episode and got a bunch of Zerishan fabric. Unfortunately, we didn't get a Xerix talisman, which is what we were going for. It is a task. We didn't end up getting it, but we got a bit of combat XP. That Zerishan fabric should be useful. We also got a little bit of fishing and cooking XP as we were doing that. It was kind of a fun episode. Go watch it if you haven't. Also, if you're on this episode and you haven't already, if you could click that like button down below. I forget to say this at the beginning of episodes, but I'm remembering this time. Click that like button. Uh, help us get recommended. Help us uh, improve the audience for this series because it's been super super fun to do so far um let's talk about what we want to do in this episode then how about that zach let's do it yeah. although i do want, i want to throw this out there oh, i thought this was funny it. my girlfriend yesterday was like whoa you guys are actually getting some views on the, on <laughs> the, the youtube and i was like yeah we are don't doubt <laughs> I've I just been, thought that was really funny. Yeah, so far, uh, the, the initial couple of episodes that we have up have been getting some good responses. And so thank you, everybody who has been viewing these. It's been giving us some positive That's feedback. It's really cool to see that people are enjoying this. All right. So this episode, we landed ourselves in this boring old chunk. We're right dag smack south of the tree gnome stronghold and the four chunks we've decided to take off of this starting chunk are the outpost chunk uh this west arty chunk the zmi chunk and the battlefield chunk so you might already be able to guess what we're going to do this episode these three chunks allow us to complete the tree gnome village quest which is great good amount of attack xp there we get an amulet from it and also access to spirit trees which dude that's that could be a really good uh, method of transportation any like transportation method especially ones that don't involve uh runes to cast are beautiful for us on these chunk lock accounts we thought really hard about going up north in fact you were kind of pushing for this or like making sure that we didn't just forget about it um going north into the grand tree mostly for the agility course it sucks having level one agility like run uh, energy. Every episode I'm like, well, we could kind of sacrifice this and just get some agility. Every time we have an opportunity, I'm like, we could do that. Yeah. But there's usually something better we can do. Which is the case in this episode, but I don't want to discount your talking about it because it, when we can finally train it, it's going to be such a big quality of life uh, upgrade for us. There just weren't as many really good options up there besides agility. And so we've decided to do this option here. Um, and I don't think I've talked about it yet, but after we do Trino Village, we're going to go into the ZMI cave and we're going to kill Zami warriors to try and get that rune symbol. So we are shooting to complete another task. Oh, what the? <laughs> Welcome, dude. You want to start the episode and start it off with uh, these boys? They're not very good, are they? Um, I'm going to dismiss mine. I think I'm going to buy strength potion. If you guys were a little bit later, maybe I talked for too long. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm wasting random events. It happens every time. Okay, so that's our plan for today. We also should talk about what we did for 
skilling hour. I'll go first. Uh, I actually just completed mine right before we started filming. Um, I did a little bit of gem stall hopping. It's always good to do like a little bit. It was a good day for it, by the way. Every world I went into had sapphires and emeralds. So I was at the prime moment for gem stall hopping. I did like 15-ish minutes of that. I got two crafting levels. I got like 20k GP, I think, from it. Um, and then the rest of the time, I focused on wood cutting. It's a skill that I haven't trained in a, a skilling hour yet. I went from level 14 to 31 wood cutting. I got like 300 oak logs from it. There's a, a conveniently placed oak tree just north of the RD bank that we have access to. So that's where I was kind of situated. It was a fun time. Zach, what did you do for your skilling hour? Um, pretty simple stuff. I did like literally five minutes of gem cell hopping because I needed some money. And then uh, I blew glass because you gave me like 500 last episode. And then I bought the materials for 50 crafting at the charter ships in mm, the last bit. And now I can I'm get- I'm so excited about. Yeah, strength amies. That's kind of what we're targeting. So I'm going to pump up my crafting. I got um, four levels, I think, since last episode in that skilling hour. And I didn't have time to actually craft it. So we'll get to that eventually. We don't even have rubies or cosmics for the level to enchant yet. Yeah, so we're in totally. no rush. But I'm glad that you're collecting the materials to get that crafting level. I'm glad you spent your hour like looking towards the future, you know? Yeah, it'll be good. Oh, I somebody also, has to craft. Yeah, right, somebody. I, I'm getting some crafting here and there as well, but I think it's fun that we're like pouring more of the supplies into one account just to boost one of them up because like getting to some of those levels to make higher level jewelry is going to be pretty crucial for us. And I don't think it's feasible for us both to shoot for it. That's what's kind of nice about doing this duo series, right? Is that we can put certain XP, we can have one account focus on something to make it more efficient for us. Also, I know yeah, it's so going to be. Oops, sorry, you, you go ahead. I was going to say, I've been doing crafting and fletching, but you know, once we unlock herb lore, maybe I dump all my herbs over to you. Ooh, that could be you know, fun. You've been doing mining and smithing. Yeah, I know. could. So that's we'll currently mine, but I wouldn't mind we being our, um, our botanist, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. Be fun. Uh, I know it's going to be on screen right now. Thank you for doing this awesome graphic that showcases what our total levels are at the beginning of this episode and also our best in slot gear currently. I love that you've been putting these things together. All the graphics you're making are super awesome. Yeah, happy to do it. They're kind of fun to make. All right, Zach, I think All that's right. enough of an intro. I'm ready to get going with this episode. What about you? My mouse is on the start button. All right, so is mine. On the count of three, we're going to hit start then. One, two, three. There she blows. Timer counting down. The first thing hey. we're going to do, and you probably guessed it based off of where we started this episode, uh, there was a little bit of flax in the chunk that we started in. Since we don't have access to a renewable supply of this yet, the only flax we had was in Hasidius the one time we were there. I thought we could spend a couple seconds here just getting a full inventory before we teleport to the fishing trawler. <laughs> it's just, what did that spider ever do to you? <laughs> I don't know, man. He ran in front of me. <laughs> he just, he was, uh, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I got 20 flax from one plant. Goodness. That's a beastly plant. Mine have not been anywhere near that good. Sweet. I got my full inventory. Let's do a teleport to fishing trawler. There it is. And then we will get going with this episode uh, with our plan, which is going to be Trinome Village first, and then we'll head to the ZMI altar. I should tell you, we are approaching the... No, we just passed it. We have a passed the one minute and 59 or one hour and 59 minute mark. So. Okay. So we, we better hurry then. We, we're running out of time. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait, before you run, let's do um ba -ba 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 -ba, uh, robes. Let's do salad robes. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm I have all a pair over the of place here. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I wanted to start this episode uh, making the rest of our Zurichian fabric. Let's step with you. Do you want to make them? Because you need the crafting XP. Okay. Um, I might as well. I have one top. I think you made legs last episode. Wait. Something like that. What's up? You need a thread? Oh, wait. <laughs> Okay, there Wait. we go. <laughs> nice. Nice little back and forth there. Wow, I look beautiful. We got so enough. Hat. Yeah, I need a hat. I think we got enough for one hat, two tops, and two bottoms, right? I mean, I already had the one top, but like in total. Pretty sure that's what we were going to be able to make. This is what we got from Lizardman last episode. We don't really need that much for this quest we need six logs uh do you have logs right now or did you want to get them later on i was gonna get them right now that's what i was running off to okay do. well i actually have a lot from my i did cut a couple of normal logs for my wood cutting training so i have six logs for you don't waste your time cutting them oh combat equipment cool. all we need is um like runes right the runes. So i have like a couple of casts together i think you you were the one that saved quite a few runes um yes from i have 450 previous episodes okay sweet 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 do you want the hat or because i have a wizard hat no wait what's going on here wait do we have enough yeah so the only thing <gasps> i can't make is a top oh okay 
so we're fine. This maxed out what we have. It's gotcha, really good. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I think this is going to be it. I don't even know if you need to bring your staff because we're going to be trading the fire battle staff back and forth to conserve those runes. So just bring as oh. many air and mind runes as you have. And okay. don't forget your square shield. Um, square shields no longer give a negative. Oh. Well, I'm wrong about that. I guess it's range. Okay. Eh, I don't know if I'll bring it or not. Maybe not. I'm I did idiot. bring it. Okay. What did I think that... I know that they got rid of some negative bonus, but I guess it was ranged and not magic, which kind of makes sense. Okay. So I love the pink cape with the Zeresian robes. Like, what? It, it looks good, huh? I actually think it does look good in like a weird way. Totally worth it. <laughs> totally worth the 500 coins. Hey, we have Dude, access good. to good money now. We're going to be just fine. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'll take those logs off you to okay. save some space for you because I think you're gonna need space for this quest yes so there are your logs yeah. and i'll probably just take this trout that i have and and have at it okay sweet so let's get going with this quest then i believe we have to navigate the maze which luckily we unlocked that halfway point like transport so we don't have to go through the whole maze again oh yeah <gasps> but wait. yeah let's uh what's up we can just talk to elkoy we can go all the way have him walk us through oh wait you're right because we have access to the northern one now we don't have to go through that southern maze that's awesome yeah. I, I lost you um i missed clicked when i clicked my map and my person ran off okay. to Egypt. <laughs> off into the nether regions great well i'll meet you at elkoy then i'm glad you reminded me i was gonna go south and just walk through half the yeah. maze because we used to not have this northern chunk unlocked this is brand new today yes i awesome. really like it too because if we can somehow manage to finish the arty diary these are some mm -hmm. amazing chunks with mm -hmm. a really good teleport mm -hmm. i have my eyeballs set on that arty diary some of the tasks on it have high requirements for us uh mm -hmm. chunk wise a lot of chunk yeah, uh, well, you'd have to get kind of lucky with a few of them, but boy, oh boy, that would be a good teleport. Monastery teleport, okay. it'd be huge. Oh, he just ran out of the chunk. <laughs> Are you struggling with the, uh, the number three guy? Oh, uh, he's back. Are you doing number three first? Um, I did one, and now I'm doing two. Okay. <laughs> but dang, it's a freaking war zone over here. Don't get by a rock on the that way. Is. Jeez, um, I'm doing I'm a mod of order. Three. There we go. I love quest helper so much. Oh, I saw your arrow fly over my head. Oh, did you really? I'm glad I didn't hit mm -hmm. you. What if I just skewered <laughs> you with the... <laughs> this giant ballista. End of series. <laughs> no coming back from that death. Okay, this is d dangerous. You can get attacked here. Okay, good thing we brought armor. Wait a minute. And you take three hits. Like, this is a uh, hardcore killer right here, Ooh, actually. Is it really? Mm -hmm. What if I don't end up getting one three. because you were here first? Oh, no. Oh, I, cool. I did get one. He came back for me. Ow, he had a five. What the heck? Get off me. Get me out of here. I don't like war. <laughs> I don't like killing things. I'm a pacifist. Do we look at these turtles if they drop anything? Uh, they drop turtle shells. I have a funny story about the tortoise shell, actually. All right. So when I was a kid, story time now, snap block at story time. When I was a kid playing RuneScape, young little me, a, uh -huh. dude, a guy who I didn't know approached me one time and said he would pay me 1 million GP if I could get him a turtle shell, like the tortoise shell, whatever those giant tortoises drop. He was like, I'll yeah. give you a million GP if you can get me one of those. And I was like, I don't have one, but I'll try and get one. And he was like, okay, I'd go for it. Go for it. So I spent ages and ages killing these turtles. And I finally got a turtle shell. And that dude never logged on again. Like after I got the shell, I never saw that man again. And I spent so much time. I was oh. like monitoring my friends list all the time. Like, is this dude, is he going to show up? I have your shell. I think one time he like did log in briefly and I like panic PM to him. I was like, I have your turtle shell. I have your turtle shell. Give me your one mil. And then he logged out again. So I never got my one mil, but yeah. because of that, I have this weird subconscious like excitement whenever I think about the giant tortoises and whenever I think about that turtle shell item do you want to know how i earned my first mill in the game like first ever oh look it's yeah. my slayer task by the way oh nice <laughs> uh how did you earn it i don't think i've heard this i one. was walking north of the arty bank by the master farmer and i dared someone to pickpocket on one health you know like <laughs> russian roulette oh no and he died i know where this one is mill <laughs> and i yoinked it and i bought all my free to play friends rune armor rune pickaxes oh my gosh you stuff. were balling out was this back when if you died your stuff would show up for other people like almost immediately it was like a minute or 30 seconds or was it immediately it might have been instantaneous it was like two minutes or something like that jeez that's but yeah that's, and the second thing dude, actually. did you hold on did you know that he was gonna uh i didn't do you know wanna, he had do you one, go no, first, i just dared him 
you can go you can go first oh sure i'll knock it out real quick did you know that he was gonna die though yes uh, that's why oh, I dared yeah. him <laughs> don't mind me he's almost dead <laughs> you don't have to hang around and watch me when you're done um you can just look at not waste time Bugger off to zmi yeah exactly i'm so excited about zmi it's gonna be a good time in there because it is multi-combat multi-combat is great for us very exciting we're close by too Ooh, one more hit should do it oh yes. easy game all right man take your orbs of protection give me as many runes as you can oh, cool. afford I oh you have like a 50. lot of these left perfect okay i will see you at the end of this quest then good luck to you, you. i feel like i'm in pro pro like with implings right. <laughs> what attack level did you get from that by the way 44 Ooh, pretty good nice i think if i did my math correctly i should get 46 from it all right i finished the kazard warlord and so i'm gonna run back and finish the quest for me and then i'll meet you at zmi great all right 20 minutes and this is going to be quest completed for me not a bad beautiful. time for it at all beautiful beautiful all right there okay. we go that's quest completed did i do my math correctly i did 46 attack for me and finally our very first uh amulet upgrade yay like we have that's something in the good. amulet slot it's really good it gives plus 13 and all melee defensive stats 13 is huge um and the attack attack xp and the oh wait what am i doing i'm an idiot i've just watched you do the spirit tree trick and then i straight up neglected to do it the only reason i remember is because i was about to say we have access to spirit trees now and here i am not even using it that's okay i'm making my way back uh to zmi because that's our next task we're gonna try to get our rune scimitar oh we're not gonna try zach we are going to we're gonna get rune scimitars yes that'd be very cool it'd it be nice is... to have a shield again Oh, hey, look at this. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm keeping your runes for now, so just holler if you need it. We no have quite worries. a few of them left. Uh, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, that yeah. could be useful for more quests. So, um, Zamorak Warriors in the ZMI dungeon drop rune scimitars one out of 50. That's really low. Like, that's a pretty common drop compared to fire giants at least and with the two of us being able to kill him at the same time like i said earlier it's multi-combat i have high hopes for us to get at least one rune scimitar this episode and that means a spin on the wheel spin on the wheel baby okay i'm pretty sure that's everything that i need and i'm gonna run down rune spears dude they feel really good <laughs> i like i love the way i look especially with the gnome amulet what a huge upgrade yes, 13 defense is pretty huge could get prayer back if we wanted to but i don't know if it's worth uh just staying down here to get the un aggro uh which reminds me turn on uh aggression timer and so we can start to get like a, a map together uh, a hot spot map so to speak Oh boy, there's that lizard. I don't think the lizard will bother us. So this is what we're going to be doing. These are the Zami Warriors. 150 drop rate for a rune scimitar. It is multi-combat. Uh, so we can do this nifty trick that we found uh, in the first Zaya episode, right? When we were flinching the guards. It's like, oh, I get four hits this time. I'm not really hitting that much. I got to use prayers. Yeah. I got to focus and use prayers. So good luck to us. I think we might be able to finish this guy and snag the crafter over there. There we go. Queens. Queens. Oh, the lizard. He left us alone. <laughs> if we run over here, does the lizard de aggro? That could be useful. Yeah. Oh, okay. But he'll tag you again as soon as you get close to the warrior. Oh, some air runes. <gasps> yes, I love air runes. Oh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. Look, the lizard's going to help us now. Nice. You could actually wait until he aggros the lizard. And then I don't think he'll re-aggro us until the lizard's dead. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Now we can just pile him. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, that's nice. oh. <laughs> Thank you, Lizard. They're a hindrance and a, a help, right? This is way faster. Dude, what are we going to do if the Lizard gets the drop? Mm. What if, like, the, the, lizard the, <laughs> drop. the Lizard just whipped out a rude scimitar? Not mine. <gasps> what? 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 Rune Dagger. Ooh, Rune Dagger. <laughs> kind of cool, actually. It's the first one. Okay. Another rune weapon. Whoop, I tagged this guy by accident. Oh, you did grasp of air, dude. I thought you got I thought you got the scimitar. <laughs> <sighs> I did not. I'm pretty sure the rune dagger is the same drop rate as the scimitar. Uh no, it's um, not. It's actually much more common. Body runes. I don't know if those are useful. Ah, twice there's our as yeah. Ooh, do we wait that. for the lizard? Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's on. Yeah. Come on, lizard. There we go. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, he killed the lizard. Okay. Oh man. Well, we had it was a shining moment of glory. Next time. We need better lizards. Someone right. buff the lizards. Oh, we got the lizard help again. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, lizard. Coins again. Arr. Don't know why the lizard's not aggroing me. My timer isn't done yet, but He's it's a minute until. All right, man. Bye, lizard. Uh, now yeah. that they're not aggressive, they're kind of cute. Uh, he's going to kill yeah, the ranger this time. Um, 
The, is that a short bow that you have? The range on it is insane. I have it on long range, but yeah, it is a short bow. Okay, so Why did you, it echo you? I know, that's, it happened last time. You range him, and then he's like, oh, <laughs> it was that snap locket fell over there. He's the one to go after. He looks shady. <laughs> Another rune digger. Ooh, Money. and a crafter. <laughs> There's another one. This guy. Screw this guy in particular. <laughs> Take them both down. Uh, how much are the rune daggers worth? Because I don't know if we'll need them for anything. 4,800. Okay, a little bit of money. More chaos runes. Nice. Pure essence. There is the warrior. Gonna go test the theory. Oh, I've gotten nice. the 100 coin drop four out of four times. Ooh, wow. Let's see. Oh, there's a crafter over here. Nice. So we get some passive kills when yeah. they're over here, at least. Yeah. Nice. We'll get some, a couple of runes. This is our probably our best method of getting runes right now, actually, <laughs> would be like camping these so. guys. I think you're right. Um, Let's see. Get the warrior. Uh, it's me again. <laughs> What the heck? Every time. We actually hit with range, too. We Somebody hit a one. Oh, what did they do? <laughs> I don't remember if it was me or not. Let me see if I got range XP. Wasn't me. Nice. <laughs> one, four range Nine XP range or something. <laughs> wow, these guys are tankier than I thought they were going to be. I thought we were going to be cruising through them. I guess they have level 90 defense. Oh, that's actually pretty high. Yeah. I wish we had access to runes because then we could be maging them. <sighs> but I just don't know if it's worth spending the rest of the runes that we have trying to kill <sighs> these things. Uh, uh, I mean, coin. Coins for you. I don't know about that. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, there's another crafter coming this way. Do we have an access to pure essence right now? Uh, from the oh. crafters, they drop it. I mean, like good access, like farmable. Eh, mining, it's usually the best way, and obviously we can't do that. Ah. <laughs> you don't care about the lizard. There he goes. Easy game. Oh, I keep leaving my dang prayer on. That's going to be unfortunate. As much as I want this extra defense level, I think I need to train on accurate. Oh, wow. He killed that lizard quick. Okay. Yeah, he did. Deleted. Well, if my eggro's already messed up. <laughs> you can't take that. It doesn't seem to be yours. Oh, With the pure essence? They put that patch in. Yeah, Weird. Where you can trade pure essence in here. Okay, well, then screw us i guess why my pure essence yeah. i did not know that was a thing we'll save you lizard <laughs> save the lizards dude they're an endangered species i right, get ready to duck for cover if he kills it don't kill him not the lizard no. our friend so when the crafters respawn next to us it means that they died to a lizard oh <laughs> like that's the only reason that they would show back up here is because they died and the only thing that could kill them in here is the lizards so the lizards are getting wins here and there as well good for them um if we did merch for this series would our shirt be a picture of one of the sulfur lizards or the cave lizards with the caption save the lizards that would be a good one Ooh. hey grats on the level whatever level that was thank you 37 strength nice Nice. Every little bit counts. I wonder if we could just face tank these. Like, how much damage would we actually take? That's a good question. Um, Let's see. They do eight, and they have kind of high stats. You want to just, just take it out? I'm just trying it. See how it feels. Oh, nice. We have lizard eight as well. Oh, no, he's on you. Yeah, probably not sustainable with the food we have. Especially since we don't really have much food reserves. Yeah. Oh, it looks like I'm stabbing you. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Take him down. Take him down. I don't understand ZMI. <laughs> oh, you keep... <laughs> nice grats on the level. I don't know what that was. I, I, that was defense. I need you to... Here we go. What, <laughs> what's happening? Ah. <laughs> There's the kill. 100 coins, man. 100 coins. Every time. I haven't seen it. one weapon drop in my eight warrior kills. How many have you killed? You're quite a bit ahead of me. Nine. Oh, I guess, I guess we're neck and neck. That kind of makes sense. Are we going to hit drop rate? for a rune scimitar this episode. I mean, we could get it under drop rate. That would be beautiful. Or we could get it at like 300. No, don't say it. <laughs> it could happen. No, I don't like it. What do you think the driest somebody, like the driest is that someone's gone for a rune scimitar here? Like 600 probably. You think so? Mm -hmm. That's so brutal sounding. That does sound pretty bad. Maybe not as much if you were doing it with magic because you can get the kills a lot faster, but geez. I hope they got spoon fed a pet that they wanted or like a God Wars dungeon drop. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, Geez, thank goodness we got these rune spears because there's yeah. no way we'd be hitting enough with the mithril scimitars we used to have. I like, think this feels really yeesh. good. It's I say a, it every time. Yeah, it's, it's pretty true. sustainable. Hey, there's a defense level for me. Oh, why was I, oh I forgot we train on control with these spears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can cast a couple of bolt spells. I should do that. <laughs> I've got 12. Nice, do it. I've got five air runes. Oh, I'm, no, don't Hello, kill the lizard. Sir. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> do I, almost, I almost it's hurt our friend. Friend, friend Fr not foe. <laughs> Friendly fire, friendly fire. Come on. Hey. 
<sighs> More coins. <gasps> I want to get something besides coins. Oh my days, you're taking this guy down. There you go. Just Finish enjoy him. your drop. Oh no. Uh oh. What was it? Addy Longsword. No! <laughs> That's the same drop rate. No. That's bad, man. Uh, it'll sell for something at least. Sell for a couple of K, maybe. Yeah, 2K. Ah, oh, so we hit that 1 in 50 rate. Uh, right at the hour mark, by the way. Right Perfect. at it. Nice prairie level as well. Good job. So I've gone through like 10 salmon so far. Or trout, I mean. Which isn't horrible considering that we've been here for like 40 minutes. Oops. All right, just finish him off so we can grab these two crafters. Come on! Come on. He's gonna get away! Oh, I was just about to do that. That's so funny. <laughs> Deal dagger. Oh, the crafter hit me at two. What a freak. Ow, what the heck? No one emulate my bum. This thing doesn't protect right. against anything. Oh, oh, he's getting away. Come back here. Eat oh, him. no. I reset my thing and it just... No. I'm not on long range. That's why. Like, my re my aggression timer had just run out. <laughs> and I, left. I don't even think it's worth dealing with, honestly. You're probably right. We flinch so many monsters in this series. That's like all we do. We could rename the series to flinching. <laughs> Flinchy boys. Flinchy boys. <laughs> uh, I hope We're people gonna don't find get sick of it. <laughs> Dude, episode like... Episode 112, flinching Grardor. <laughs> Episode 250, flinching, Verzik, flinching, Ulm. <laughs> flinching Ulm? <old. laughs> How did that even work? Corner safe spot know. in the old room. And it's coins. Hey. I shouldn't have them be my drops because I always get coins. Yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six weapon drops. <laughs> all I have is 1,100 coins. Uh, I guess some of that is for the crafters, but like 10 out of 10 uh, times these guys drop. They drop coins for me 100% of the time. I think that that's their drop table, dude. I think you were hacking over there to get your weapon drops. Yes, a hacker. Ooh, <laughs> I got a Bob random. <gasps> oh, oh, is it, is it, is it? Did you get it? It's the thing. It's and the thing. Yes. Oh yes. Amazing. And I got a bomb random event, which I'm gonna do right now. Oh my gosh. Yes. Amazing. I love it when I hear you gasp because you it means that something that was just a happened. Real one. Ooh, dude, you're two for two on our task completions now. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing my random event and then I will I'll be back. I'll be back, dude. I want to no see worries. it. Yes, yes! Got the lizard, I was bro. so excited. We still have an hour left we finally oh. got one dude we, we should keep going and try to get another one i think that's a great idea there we go i got my fish an hour left and dude we've been trying to get this for a little bit now we've been killing fire giants we killed at least one karend head guard what else drops rune scimitars that's it but dude like dude, applause to us task completed rude scimitar acquired i want to see it i want to see it all right i got Isn't some fishing xp from that oh dude oh it's so good i wish we had a shield with us i almost brought one with please get the back to back oh can you imagine uh, can you imagine that would have been so cool that's so good though <laughs> look at that rude simi dude are the stats significantly better than the spear i forget how um how it was yeah that's what i was gonna look at here actually oh you getting your shield out yeah nice good I'm good idea, good up idea. And make some room grab a little bit more food okay I still got some kebabs <laughs> down to kebabs are we yeesh there's there he yeah, his buddy the, the spear is definitely still the better stab but it's two better strength bonus and it's it, better slash. Okay, how does it give more strength bonus than a spear? Right? Maybe it's just how heavy it is. I don't know. Well, it's definitely better for this situation because you get the advantage of a shield and you mm -hmm. get slightly more accuracy and then two strength bonus. I don't know if that gives you a max hit, but like, is it feasible to face tank them with the shield? Maybe? I'm gonna try. I was low health, so I was just eating some okay. kebabs. Kebabs. I can go back to training some strength directly. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's not a controlled better. weapon anymore. Cool. It's way better if we want to train a specific combat style yes oh dude i was so, so stoked <laughs> we get another wheel I'm spin it's been five seven. episodes i think episode oh, five was when we got so the long in between. wow amazing got more pure essence just now Ooh, that's a good one hello nice this guy off real quick maybe it is nice um doing these tasks that involve us staying in one area for a while uh because we can get random events if we're doing like too much hopping then yeah. you know we can't get the random events anymore what should you put that into i don't know like what would be the most beneficial right now oh. 
<laughs> you, you didn't get any break. Oh, but he still hackered me. What should I put that into? Probably prayer, actually. Ooh, yes. Good call. Prayer. I really, really, really want to get overheads. I mean, it's not going to be feasible until we get a good prayer training method, but maybe we should start looking towards the future. <laughs> More coins, dude. I'm gonna. I'm telling you, the one non-coin drop I get better be a freaking rune scimitar. Good still. Yes, it's still a good uh, stab weapon. It's still a good crush weapon. Uh, and I was thinking about Taibuanai Trio, right? Because mm -hmm. um, you need a steel spear or better for it. Um, we can yeah. just use the rune spears, give them up, because you get a rune spear KP at the end of that quest anyways. Unless we wanted to sell these, I guess that would be better. We just like, one of the things we forgot to do last episode was um, buy, a buy, steel yeah, buy a steel one from the shop. Ugh, things like this. Yep. You can't go back. You can't go back. Even if we had kept those chunks, we wouldn't have been able to go back. Yep. Every episode's an adventure, man. Every set of chunks. Like these, we might not keep this area. So we might not have easy access to rune scimitars after this episode. That's true. I mean, we still have fire giants and like 400 runes. So we do, yeah. Good odds there. Just... So I'm going to nickname you uh, Task Getter. Okay. <laughs> because so far you have completed two out of our two completed tasks. I haven't done one yet. That's okay. Yeah, got it. Oh, the first weapon drop. Steel scimitar. <gasps> it's the wrong one. It's the wrong scimitar. I don't want this thing. You got to get two of them before you get a rune one. <laughs> and that... two rune daggers and then add a long sword. Oh my gosh, I've got dagger. so long to go. <laughs> <laughs> the rune simi is actually a lot more accurate too. It's seven more slash over the spear stub. Suits plus seven. That's kind of big. Yeah. <laughs> Lizard time. <laughs> oh, never mind. No, ah! every time we scare him. <laughs> Boo. I can't believe we have earned simmies, dude. This is so cool. Uh, Our accounts are getting... It's a big upgrade. Ooh. It's a good weapon for a while. Yeah, it's our best weapon maybe for the whole series. <laughs> I think we'll get dragon weapons. I hope so. There's no way we don't do Lost City, at least. True, very true. And maybe I mean, Madness. Like, we're What's going for pretty high-level PVM goals. <laughs> We've got to do we better than dragon there. weapons, I think. <laughs> Why do I bother? Why do I bother? <laughs> Yeah, you had a simi. <laughs> this is the wrong kind. All my clips are going to be like 100 coins, 100 coins, 100 coins, 100 coins, 100 coins. Zach got a red scimitar. 100 coins, 100 coins, 100 coins. <laughs> okay. Oh, I well, saw rune. Well, I don't think I have rune Dang scimitars it. highlighted. Actually, maybe I do. I'll have to check. But yeah, yeah a, rune, a rune weapon at least. Or another one. Good for money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zach from across the room. Yeah. Hey. By the way, do you know how many you killed? Are we both eating right now, by the way? Yeah. No, it's snack time. We call this part of the episode snack time. Um, Do you know how many you killed before you got the runes to me? Um, I will count in just a second. Okay. I forgot to ask you what um what Kishia was because I'm curious. We got lucky with the one. 16. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. We got very lucky. lucky with that. Okay. So I think um, I kind of want to trade you some runes. Okay. So that I can get some more food. And have you bank. Oh, you let's get some food. Food. All right. Give me some runes. You should need this many and try this bad boy out for Ooh. a while. Oh, I don't have room for that, actually. Hang on. Uh, I'll give you some okay. food. I'll, I'll just alka, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, that I was guess, you, right? Yeah. <laughs> You'd imagine. <laughs> so. <laughs> Admiral Chunkier Bar is here. Okay, I got to be careful with my banking for a sec. Oh, I guess I have to go upstairs to light the fire. That's weird. Don't know why that is. That is a little weird. Come on, dude. It's just a normal log. You can light it. It's not that difficult. Oh, my days. This is taking ages. The episode's going to be over by the time I light it. You got to train that fire making, bro. <laughs> What's happening? Okay. Wh wow. I've never ever seen a log take that long to light all right i only burnt three fish i'm coming back down actually let me grab prayer real quick and then i'll give you half of this stuff <laughs> there's a good amount that's about half of what i had and i still have some trout in there that i can cook i don't know how many uh but okay. i have some that's uh, funny that's the first time we've had that drop the triple lobster drop i forgot I that we'd they be getting that more often Ooh, get this That's other crafter. I forgot that they even dropped those. The lobster drop. But it, yeah, some food would be great. 
Maybe I could stop getting coin drops, please. Give us some food. You know, I just realized there's no boss in this episode. <gasps> this is the boss of the episode. What are you talking about? Yeah, like we 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 kind of did it right the whole time is killing the boss of this episode. They're level 85. Like that's that's pretty high. I'll take it. If I've ever, goal, if I've ever heard of one. There's always a goal. The goal is two rune scimitars. Let's be real. Mm, yes, please. Yes, please. Now that we have food and we only have 22 minutes left, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold aggro the whole time and I'm just gonna poke him every other hit. Okay. That sounds good to me. How many more banks worth of runes do you have? Um, Seven, I think. Oh, wow. You had a lot of water runes. I bought too many on accident when I was training mage oh, on fire giants. Oh, right, 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 right. This would have been a good use for our fire runes. Right. Uh, if only. If we had access to it when after we had the mage. Because remember, we went to fire giants after that. Oop. Lizard time, you might not need to hold aggro. If we, if that Hasidious episode had happened right before we had this, or if we had this permanently unlocked somehow, like if we had been able to mage these guys, it would have been a lot better. We would have been pretty much guaranteed to. Yeah, I agree. We could have been on different worlds and just done it and slayed them. Okay, I have a proposition for you that I did, should have thought of earlier. One person mages and holds aggro, the other person melees. Oh, mages are So we use half the runes, right? Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Do you... I don't know if that'd be worth the runes. With only 20 minutes left, I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> I want that second rune scimitar. I think it's worth it, honestly. Do you think it's worth what it to burn What quest do we runes? want to save runes for? Uh, I kind of do. It's like Grand Tree. That's the only one I can think of. But, oh, um, Lost City would be one. Yeah, that's true. You need so many chunks for Lost City. That's at least two episodes away. It's true. Oh. And if you have Lost City, you probably have Port Serum because you have to get to Entrana. Oh, then, you're Grand right. Tree, so you don't... Okay, okay I'm, I'm sold. I'm sold on the idea. Trade me the runes and I'll... Because okay. uh, I have... The the, the, you still have them. Oh, yeah. oh in fact, I can, can mage. I can mage. You take the rune and send me back. Okay, let's do that. Um, I'll give you... Oh, yeah. Give me... Just, there runes. we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. This, this, this. Cool. And then... <laughs> Mixing up the strategy. Mixing up the strategy. Yeah, let's change it up a little bit, right? I mean, it doesn't hurt. I know we don't have a lot of runes left, but... I mean, whatever. I don't like the... We're good. It's I don't fine. like the bank. Like, um... Oh, I don't either. Oh, ow! Ah, I'm, I'm literally in robes. <laughs> oh, the lizard now oh, no. too. The lizard. It's this is not going to be a good time. Uh, should have brought the food. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I got a little bit okay, of food so at least. I'm hoping he stays aggroed on you. Yeah, you're slaying this guy. Okay. You have some food, right? Yeah. Okay. I do not much. It'll be <laughs> just enough, enough for like those weird situations. Yeah, it'll be enough. <laughs> Look at it. Tell me that you wouldn't want to take magic lessons from this guy. <laughs> I like it. You got All a little right. beard going on too. You look wise. There we go, dude. What the actual heck? He pulled me to the wall. What are you doing over there, man? What a freak. I wait for you to attack. Whatever. Maybe that's <laughs> not the move. Maybe not, but I still have quite a few casts. Like, we are killing them faster this way. How much How much do you have? Like 440 here, right? Save 200. That's enough for one quest for okay. both of us, probably. Sounds good. I overestimated how much we need. We used like 50 for the last quest each. Yeah. Okay. So 200. So that gives me what 240 casts. I don't even think we'll be able to use that in the rest of the episode. Oh, I got blood runes, dude. Let me cast some wave Ooh. spells. Yeah, do it. Yeah, just take a super imbued heart potion magic. <laughs> super <laughs> How many different things do you just imbued heart up? Sneak up on him. Sneak up. Sneak up on oh, him. I see what <laughs> I see it now. Thank you. Uh, this is great, too, because I'm getting some more magic levels, which I yes. super appreciate. Uh, I just got 34. We need magic levels, too, um, because to get that uh, steel scimitar, no. Um, I scimitar. I didn't uh, <laughs> for uh, the ruby enchant. Yeah. Yeah. So magic training, still good. Ruby enchant. We need 47 yes. with a wizard mind bomb, I think. Grab that crafter yes. while he's here. Oy. Oy so yeah. nice, um, of so all that... the things, he picked the lizard. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. A deadly mage in level 20 range gear, a warrior with a rune weapon, or a lizard. <laughs> which, of right these, now. <laughs> which of these is the biggest threat? I know, right? Like, I kept this spear so that I could still kill the, uh, the crafters. Surprisingly, they're hitting less than when I had the armor on. Somehow I lost your voice. Oh, I just wasn't talking. Oh, oh, <laughs> you're lighting up. I was like, what the heck happened? Spooky. That's really funny. <laughs> they are hey, faster. Should we? <laughs> I've made 2.6K so far in straight GP from these guys. Oh, nice. Should we be hopping Way back and forth between two different worlds to Maybe get the respawn? Should. Let's do it after because he's going to respawn in like three seconds. Let's uh. Yeah, yeah. 
Lizard time. This is the best time. Uh, wait, wait, wait. On the no, I'm attacking the lizard. Bro. Waste of runes. Waste of everything. How big is the lizard hitbox? Horrible. I'm sorry, Mr. Lizard. Oh, yeah. oh no, I got lizard Definitely bones. On the thumbnail. No, wait, no, don't put me killing a lizard in the thumbnail. Maging <laughs> a lizard. Oh, dude, we're below 10 minutes, by the way. I know. Sub 10. <sighs> okay, so grab this loot and then hop back. Cannot switch worlds so soon after combat. We always discover these, like, more efficient methods in the last, like, 10 minutes. Well, like, we couldn't do this the whole time. We would have ran out of runes, so. This is true. Oh. <laughs> You barely made it into the world. I'd say start attacking him. It's either 50-50. It's you or the lizard next. Who's he going to pick? Choose wisely. Yes. Hey, <laughs> good RNG. Oh, lobster drop. I'll take it. Cool. I can't hop. <laughs> what? <laughs> Every time. I'm Every time. Him. Oh, now, now the lizard's do. attacking you too. Oh my days, dude. Am I going to die with six minutes left? <laughs> <laughs> Please no. Please no more death. Uh, come on, dude. Come on. This would be a great photo finish if we can pull it off. <sighs> come on, please. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you serious? No. Oh, gosh. That's not what you want to see with five minutes left in the episode. <laughs> not the Addy Longsword. Anything but the Addy Longsword. Oh, the Adamant Longsword. Why are you in my inventory? How much is it worth? Eh, some money at least. Yeah, 35 defense. And I just got 35 magic. 35, 35. 35, 35, 35, 35. Is that a teleport for me? 37 is Falador. Ooh, I could do Fire Bolt. That could be good. Oh. I can do Ooh. fire bolt now if I had chaos runes. I didn't get that kill. I, whoa. Dude, you out DPS'd me. Your luck like rubbed off on me because I got coins. <laughs> coins. We have less than two minutes. <sighs> come on, come on, come we on. shouldn't be letting you get these drops. It doesn't work. <laughs> Actually, no. How close are you? Four, you 42. are one star and one dagger away before oh. your, rune sim, your rune sim. Is that what it is? Based on mm -hmm. the uh, drop rate. I'm almost to the drop rate as well. Like, I've killed 42 Boy. of them. I've only killed 25. So 100 would be the drop rate for two, right? Mm, yeah, I guess so. I don't We'd know. It's, lucky, so either way you it. look at it, it's all just RNG at the end of the day. It's you're getting yeah. it or you're not. Out of food again. Okay, and I have Sounds no more. Crazy. No, another rune dagger. That's not the same drop oh, rate. It's okay. Good. Oh, is that it? That's like you said, two rune daggers and a scimitar. That's it. We have to. We have to hop. We have a minute left. <laughs> You already got the sword. Oh, you We're looking good. I don't know how many more I'm going to be able to kill. This might be the last one. We're going to have to get very lucky to get a second one. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I think this might be the last one. Hey. Please. Oh. Oh, coins. Okay, oh. I'm gonna hop, but oh no, I actually I can't hop because the lizard just aggroed me. So that that's gonna be it, dude. Definitely the last one. Okay, well, last 14 seconds. So I'm gonna mage on this lizard because he angered me, and I might as well get some more XP. <laughs> Can I kill this guy in the nine seconds? <laughs> All right, man. There it is. One second, and the episode is over. Oh Bummer. boy. All right, man. That is another episode. Episode 10, off and gone. Uh, does that mean I did some math the other day? If it's two hours per episode, plus we've had five skilling hours, or is it only four now? Are we at, I think we're at 24 hours of playtime on these accounts, technically, like of active nice. playtime. So we have done yeah, a yeah. full day's work. This is what a day's work looks like, right? Mage gear, rune scimitars, rune spears. I, we didn't get a second one, which is disappointing, but I'm stoked that we got one. I knew it was going to happen, dude. Like, let's be honest. We were going to get one scimitar. I'm really happy with it. And of course, even though I got it, like, we're going to share this stuff. Like, you share the staff with me. I share the scimitar all the time. Like, we're good. For sure. For sure. We'll get another one, too. Oh, yeah. We will get one eventually. We still have rune spears, which are good weapons. We get we got the rune scimitar, which is a task, which means in a little bit, we're going to spill up, spill a, spin a reward wheel. Ooh, I don't even know what we're going to get from that. <laughs> like, oh, gosh. This is exciting. <laughs> I like the wheel. It makes it changes things, you know. Oh yeah, it's it's exciting. It's for sure exciting. And dude, the stuff that's on it today, like we're we're let's not lose uh track of what we're doing though we got to keep some consistency here first things first we have to flip a coin to see if we keep the chunks uh that we unlock this episode all right so Wait. here it is oh, oh what 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 where what? you go will you be happy sad or like neutral oh yeah i guess we chunks. could talk about it huh um well I, I want to camp for another rune scimitar and these are really really good 
wants us to do that on. So like that would be useful. Um, it's also worth pointing out that these chunks are useful in the future. This is useful for it w eventually when we start doing like underground pass, if we get access to West Artie. This shop is also really good too, right? This jungle store buys yeah. stuff. Um, and this chunk is useful to get us into the Tree Nub Stronghold. It sucks that the entrance to it is like in this extra chunk here and it's the only way to get in and out till you have access to the spirit tree Blah. but we did do a great job this episode like tree Num stronghold was a great quest to complete access to spirit trees yes. could be huge in the future we got one rune scimitar what about you are you super excited super not excited um, to keep her loose on like a scale of one to ten right one being i don't want the chunks ten being i want to keep them no matter what i'm at like a six and a half okay Mostly just because of utility, and I want to get into uh, Tronwyn as soon as we can. So yeah. having that uh, underground pass chunk is just a nice, moves us towards that a little bit. So For sure. Won't far. be super depressed, but I would like to keep them. It's definitely a, a far goal in the future. Like when underground pass is a ways off, but it'd be nice to keep chunks. Plus, it's just nice to grow the landmass. I mean, look at from a, a bird's eye perspective. We have quite a few chunks here currently. All right. Oh, so yeah. Close it's looking no good. Let's do it. Now we got to find out. How are we going to lose them? I think we're going to lose them <laughs> we got, got very lucky out, for a while right i'm just gonna go ahead and flip it we're gonna see as we keep tails we lose no what <laughs> what, <laughs> what? <laughs> we're so lucky you yeah, lucky yeah, yeah. yeah all right so we keep another set of chunks absolutely beautiful Whoa. like dude we get to keep another set of chunks that's beautiful 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 that means that we can come back here and camp for a second rune scimitar um yeah. honestly the rune crafting altar could be useful as well like we can use that Definitely. without doing rune mysteries so like maybe we'll pop yep. back in here and do that and then just growing the landmass it means that if we hit chunks around here, there's a greater chance we'll be able to connect up and grow this land mess even more. It means that we have these chunks unlocked for quests in the future. How are we so lucky with the coin flip? I don't know, man. I think you're a hacker. Uh, I, I I will not comment. Thank you, Chunk Perker V2. Where the heck are we going to end up this time, dude? I'm not even going to predict. I'm just going to hit the random start as soon as you're ready. Please. <laughs> Ooh, 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 interesting. Okay, okay. Oh. Desert, desert. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go back to the map before I talk about it too much. First of all, yeah, we can start here. Wow, dude, where, yes. why, where are we? Tucked away deep in the wilderness. Oh no, I see something bad. I see something bad. I see something good. Uh, what's okay. bad? Let's uh, let's talk about it here. What's bad? Okay, so right off the bat, what's gonna screw us is the bridge that's right here, because that means that we oh. can't get to Agility Pyramid nor to Narda. We are literally one chunk away from both of those because we have to go up here. Uh, okay, but we can connect. Look the other direction. Yeah, we can. We connect. can go to Tempros. Oh, hey, that's a task. Yeah. And yeah, we yeah. have the fishing level for it, right? Yeah. We have all the chunks to get there and one extra. Okay, sweet. So we could do, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, the, this next episode kind of speaks for itself then uh, because yeah. Tempros is another task. We could spin another wheel that way. Um, mm -hmm. And like you said, we have one more. I'm not sure uh, what we could do with that, but you know what? We're going to talk about it and uh, yeah. you guys will see in the next episode. Which one that is? Hang on, let me go back to this view. There we go. A little white, a little chunkier view. All right, man. That was the end of episode 10. Honestly, beautiful. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is not the end of the episode. What's, what am I talking about? Hold up. <laughs> Hold on. All right, guys. We forgot the most exciting thing about this episode. We get to spin a freaking wheel. <laughs> oh, my I told God. You, I'm all over the place today. Okay, bye. See okay, you, bye. See you next time. Fade to black. And then wait a minute. Wheel. It's because it's because we almost never spin them. Oh, that's unfortunate. I see you have a, a boy over there. Captain Nerve Nerve. All right, man. This is what the wheel looks like right now. How are you feeling about it? I'm stoked about this spin, dude. There's some exciting stuff on this wheel. I think we balanced it well. I think there's some that I'd be like, I'll take it, but it's not what I wanted. And there's some that's like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. So we'll see what happens. It's uh, a bit more variety than last time too. This time we have some consumables on here. We've upped the amount of everything pretty significantly because our accounts have progressed a lot, honestly, in the past uh, five episodes since we spun the wheel last time. And so we figure that, you know, this it kind of makes sense. At, at this point, these are the types of rewards that we would be excited to get. So should I just spin it, dude? I don't even know which one of these I want this time around. I'm kind of just excited to hit any of them. Send it. Just send it. All right. Here we go. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. Where's it going to be? Ooh, yes. 
This is a good one. That is a really good one. That's very, some really good stuff. With very, this. very good. Oh, finally, <laughs> I can be free of being oh. one agility. All right, dude. 20k skilling XP. So just for clarification, uh, I explained this in episode five when we first spun the wheel, but it's been a while and everyone's forgotten, including me. This we are allowed to put this into any skill that we have unlocked. So the one exception there for us is Herblore, right? Cannot put the skill in Herblore because we haven't unlocked. We haven't done the quest to unlock that skill um, but we are allowed to use any method that we want it doesn't have to be things that we have access to in our chunks uh but the caveat is we aren't allowed to keep any of the resources that we gain from this so if you want to train hunter for example you're not allowed to keep any of the things that you hunt if you want to train fishing you're not allowed to keep any of that fish but it does mean that we can train things that we don't really have access to like hunter's a good example we actually don't have a way to train hunter in our chunks but with this we can we don't have a way to train agility currently in our chunks but with this we can and 20k is a good amount too like we're also allowed to break it up amongst skills right so it doesn't have to go into a single skill you can do a k and this skill 5k in this skill break it up as much as you want dude i'm that's i'm really excited about that one i think for where we are and kind of what we've been talking about this could be pretty dang cool for us yeah i'm trying to like my mind's already like what could i put this in <laughs> how do i balance it out to get what i want this It'll is going to really be fun. a difficult theory crafting for the next episode not because of the chunks but because of what we get to do in uh skilling hour and uh or I should say after hours, which reminds me there's one other addition to after hours as it is episode 10. Now we are going to add something else to the mix. So currently we each get an hour of skilling time between each episode. Now that it is episode 10, we are going to add on a half an hour of combat training. And just like the skilling hour, any drops you get in this time, you are allowed to keep, uh, but it has to be contained within chunks and areas that we have access to. And also like methods that we have access to right so like just because it's after hours combat training if you want to train magic or ranged you still have to use like runes and ammunition that we have access to you can't just be like i want to give myself a bunch of runes and train magic because that would be way too op so yeah man i think now we could end the episode right <laughs> we've done everything that we need to we know what chunk we have we got to keep these chunks we spun on the wheel and got 20k when episode 11 dawns we are going to have an extra hour of skill Skilling under our belt, uh, half an hour of combat, and 20k XP that we're gonna divvy up into some skilling skills. So, dude, this has been a beast of an episode. I'm so excited about everything that happened, and I'm just gonna leave it there. We have final words, Zach. I have nothing. It's been a long episode. We did a <laughs> lot. I'm feeling good. I'm really happy with how these accounts are coming along. All right, man. Well, we're gonna leave it there. If you've made it this point in the episode, please make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel, maybe go ahead and do that. And stay tuned. In a week, there should be another episode. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, and good luck. See you. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start playing the outro music and then I'm going to cut it. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it.